Yeah, so we, um, so here there's at the university, just in my office with communications and marketing, we have about 40 people who are here full time. We've had students who've come through, they've interned, they've wanted to go to New York or other places. Well, somebody wanted a job at The Knot. Well, one of my colleagues has an old college buddy who works at thenot.com. So we were able to then, you know, put a call into that person say we'd like to make an introduction from somebody who interned with us, we know firsthand their capabilities, their skill level, we'd really appreciate if you could give them an interview in this. Ended up being that that call made all the difference and the, the uh, graduate here got the job because of that call and because of the connections that we could offer. But we wouldn't have just done that for any student, it's because they were here for six months proving themselves as an intern during the academic year. It is, I mean, you really can think of an internship as a job interview if you're doing it for a full semester. The hiring process at the University of Delaware takes two to four months sometimes when you realize the applicant pool and all the different levels you have to go through with interviews. So an internship is the equivalent time investment that you could be making, except you walk away with a portfolio instead. You get to interact with people who might have say in a hiring decision at some point, um, or at least can influence you to what the university is looking for when they're hiring somebody. And for me, that's usually, do you have experience? Were you not just an intern who came in every day and said, what should I, you know, uh, is there anything I should do? Instead, you're coming up with ideas. You're enterprising your own. So if, you are, if you're looking for an internship, the first thing is know the company inside and out. Take a look at not just their website, but if you want to intern in communications, look at what they do. Do they have a YouTube channel? Do they have their own news service? Do they put out press releases? Gather all the information you can so that you can get a snapshot of what their day-to-day -day looks like. Then go a step further and look on their website. Get the names of the people who are in those positions that you want. And it's acceptable to go on LinkedIn and to find them and to send them a message or to ask for an introduction of somebody you have in common on LinkedIn and say, hey, I'm interested in this position or I've submitted my application for it. I'd love to learn more about the company, the program. Would you be willing to sit down with me or have a phone interview? You should also utilize the career network that we here, have here at the university. Um, I will try to help fellow Blue Hens any way that I can. I'm an alum here, I happen to work here as well, but if I have the choice of sitting down with somebody from the University of Delaware or someone from a university in the Midwest, I'm probably gonna try to help out the, some, the person who goes to my alma mater. So it's really important to pay attention to who those people are that are not only making the hiring decisions, but work there. Find out about their background. Did they get started? Do you have similar interests? And did they go to the same school as you?